Welcome to 36W News. My name is Baba Mawala. In tonight's news, we have these stories. A slip up public school finds location for new kitchen. Major construction's work at Patsley Park Public School is finally completed. Small update from Jonathan Stavridis. Astas in weather from Addy Rugta. Now today's top story, there has been a lot of noise being made by a new project being undertaken at Petstow Park Public School called the 3Gs. Our investigators have uncovered some information which brings light on this project, but it is yet to be confirmed. Is the 3Gs about three staff members whose names all start with G, or could it be about something else completely different like green beans? Green grapes, green apples, green grass, gumboots, or even goats. The possibilities are endless, so we can confirm our information. I decided to visit Pesto Park today to see for myself what the 3Gs is about. My first interview is with Pesto Park Public School Principal Jane Mollica. Mrs. Malika, is there three Gs about your staff members? Mr. Garkin, Mrs. Geno and Mr. Green? Are they receiving some kind of special awards or something? Oh, no, 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 no. While these staff members' names do start with G, and they are, there are three of them, and they are great, and gracious and gregarious, it's not about them, the three Gs. Well, is it about green beans, green grapes, green apples, green grass, gumboots or goats? Oh my goodness, where on earth do your investigators get their, get their information? They are way off the mark. No, no, no. The three G's is about the goodness project where we encourage students to follow three simple rules. Say good words, do good deeds, think good thoughts. Our children will be completing lessons in their classrooms talking about what each of the three G's means and how they can demonstrate things. Every time a student displays one of the three G's, they will be rewarded with a link, link in a paper chain. We're hoping to create a paper chain one kilometre long, and that means our students will have to demonstrate about 1,600 acts of goodness. These will be displayed around our school to acknowledge the good things students are doing. If you wander around our school, I'm sure you will see lots of good things happening and lots of acts of goodness taking place. Thank you for your time today, Mrs. Molika. Thank you, Mr. Mawala. Hey. What are we on TV? Uh, we are going to look around the school to see if we can see students demonstrating the three Gs. Oh, my pencil broke. Can I use your sharpener? Yeah, yes. sure you can. Thank you. Hello, Mohammed. You look handsome today. I like your haircut. Thank you. Can I Hey, 
students of Pastor Park Public School are certainly embracing the Goodness Project and I can say that due to first-hand experience. And here is Johnny! Robert, you've looked like you've had a smashing day. Now I'm going to tell you about the sports report. The sports has been cancelled because of the wet weather. Now I'll tell you something about myself. I'm training for the cross country and uh, you've seen you say bolt run. Wait until you see me. Back to you. Thanks, Robert. Jonathan. Perhaps you should visit Patsday Park Public School to take part in some lessons on good words. We will now have an update on weather from our weatherman, Adi Rugdad. Thanks, Robert. I hope you're feeling much better now very soon. Today's weather in Brisbane is getting sunny, but in Hobart it's sunny. But in Sydney it's getting sunny. Back to you, Robert. That ends today's coverage. And remember, say good words, do good deeds, think good thoughts. Robert Mawala, 360 News. Mawala, 36 W News. Welcome to three. Well, ready? Go. Latest, last, last Jonathan's. Thank Jonathan. you. Jonathan. <laughs> Today's weather. Robert, you've looked like you've had a smashing day. Now back to the news report. Oh. Green beans, green grapes, green apples. See?